There are over 50 known types. Many are little known and seldom seen. They hop usually on hind legs much longer than forelegs. They have many similarities, but they live in many different habitats and have adapted themselves in various and special ways. The betong is one of the smallest kangaroos. It is a rat kangaroo. Betongs live mainly on the edges of forests or in light forest areas. There are three types. One digs burrows, two build nests. Nest building materials are carried by a clasping tail. Like most kangaroos, betongs always move their hind feet together, even for small movements. Rufous rat kangaroos are larger than betongs. They also have larger ears and a long, tapering tail. Like many kangaroos, they move about mostly at night, although an occasional one may be seen during the day. Rufous rat kangaroos live in open country. Potteroos or long-nosed rat kangaroos live in regions of thick scrub or forest. There are two or three known species, one of which is probably extinct. Like all kangaroos, they are plant eaters, although they also eat insects. They have protruding eyes, short round ears, and a long pointed muzzle. Their hind feet are relatively shorter than most other kangaroos. The potteroo's speed provides survival advantage. In slow motion, their kangaroo characteristics are more obvious. This kangaroo is called a quokka. Quokkas, like some other kangaroos, can swim. Often when chased by dogs, large kangaroos may plunge into water up to their chests, wait for the dogs to swim out to them, and then cluster them in their arms and try to drown them. Quokkas are mainly found on two widely separated islands, Rottnest Island and Bald Island in the Indian Ocean, close to the coast of southwestern Australia. There are also a few on the mainland. So short are their ears and hind legs that they may easily be mistaken for large rats. A mid-17th century Dutch navigator first named the island on which he saw them Rotnes, meaning rat's nest. Quokkas make mazes of runways through coarse grass and dense undergrowth. They feed on sand dune shrubs and the leaves of wattle trees. Kangaroos in many sizes and forms live in many different habitats, 
and like all animals, have adapted themselves to their particular environment. Tree kangaroos live only in the mountainous rainforests of New Guinea and far northeastern Australia. Some species look most unlike kangaroos. All kangaroos have tree-dwelling ancestors. After a long period of living on the ground, tree kangaroos return to the trees for feeding and safety and consequently lost some kangaroo features which were of no further use. Their ears became short and rounded and not movable in various directions as there was no longer need for sensing the presence of ground-dwelling enemies. Their front and hind feet became more equal in length and unlike most other kangaroos, they are able to move their hind feet independently. This Australian tree kangaroo has a much longer and more tapering tail than his New Guinea fellows. This one is being very disturbed by ants. tree kangaroos are capable of jumping to the ground from great heights in the trees. Of all kangaroos, the New Guinea forest wallabies are the only ones not found in Australia. In Australia, some species are more common than others. Some are extinct, or thought to be, and some are rare. Banded hair wallabies once occurred in great numbers. Now they are rarely seen except on two small islands near Western Australia. They have hair-like speed and jumping ability. Farmer wallabies introduced from Australia to New Zealand in the early 19th century are now regarded as pests in New Zealand. They are possibly extinct in Australia. Of the three known species of nail tail wallaby, only one appears likely to survive. They have a feature almost unknown among other marsupials, a peculiar horny spur of unknown function at the tail tip, almost like a human fingernail. It is also found on the tail tip of the lion. Nail tail wallabies are remarkably swift animals. Among great boulders in widely separated parts of Australia live the rock wallabies. Like most of the kangaroo family, they rest during the day, although the coldness of their habitat may drive them out for a sunbath during the morning and late afternoon. Their colouring acts as a natural camouflage. If their haunts are invaded, they remain still, with their sprite-like faces gazing intently, running off quickly when alarmed. Probably no other creatures could leap among rocks as they do without using their front legs. Larger kangaroos also show preferences for widely differing habitats. Euros, or wallaroos, can survive with very little water, where temperatures may reach as high as 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Grey kangaroos favour open grasslands always with woodland reasonably close. 
Isolated individuals are not uncommon, but grey kangaroos almost always seek the company of their fellows, usually being seen in small mobs of two or three, up to a dozen or more. They may live as long as 18 years, and females continue to breed throughout life. Kangaroos, tree dwellers, ground dwellers, small and large, rare and common, unique. 